Hello, welcome back to yet another session on SRE Demystified. In this session, we are going to see something very interesting an integral part of an SRE skill called NALST, Non Abstract Large Scale System Design. So, designing distributed systems, there are many ways to design distributed systems. One way improves growing systems organically. Components are written, rewritten and redesigned as the system handles more requests. Another method starts with a proof of concept, a POC. Once the system adds value to the business, a second version of this designed is designed from this ground up. So what is non-abstract large scale system design? Large system design. NALSD describes an iterative process for designing, assessing and evaluating distributed systems. If you take Google as an example, the Google distributed file system or their Borg cluster management for distributed computing are all examples of uh, NALSD. It, it is a very critical skill that an SRE should have the ability to assess, design and evaluate large systems. Practically, NALSD combines elements of capacity planning, component isolation and graceful system degradation that are crucial to highly available production systems. So why non-abstract? All systems will eventually have to run on real computer computers in real data centers using real networks in real time. The people designing distributed systems need to develop and continuously exercise the muscle of turning a whiteboard design into concrete estimates of resources at multiple steps in the process. This extra bit of work upfront typically leads to fewer last minute system design changes to account for some unforeseen physical constraints. The value of this exercise, the NALSD design exercise, is in combining many imperfect but reasonable results into a better understanding of the system. So how does the design process look like? It is an iterative process uh, to design systems that meet our goals. Each iteration defines a potential design and examines its strengths and weakness. This analysis either feeds to the, into the next iteration or indicates whether the design is good enough to recommend. The two phases, first one is basic design, which answers these two questions. Is it possible? Is the design even possible? Assume I don't have to worry about enough RAM, CPU, network, bandwidth, etc. What would we design to satisfy the requirements? Then the second question is, can we do better? For example, if the design solves a problem in order of n time, can we solve it in an order of a log n? So, these two questions will be answered in phase 1 and phase 2 scale up the basic design so it answers these questions is it feasible is it possible to scale the design given constraints on money hardware etc if necessary what distributed design would satisfy the requirements then is it resilient can the design fail gracefully what happens when a component fails how does a system work when an entire data center fails And naturally, can we do better? So whenever we see that it uh, meets all our requirements, it is doing all that it needs to do, we stop there. This is a very basic introduction to NALST. Viewers are uh, requested to refer to these URLs for more info. Till we see with uh, more concepts, principles and practices on SRE. Bye.